Island of Rat Rod Television, your home for thrust, lust, and rust. We're going to take you on a journey into backyards and garages where Junkabilly mechanics grab and fab their own cars from whatever they can find. There are no rules in the old school. You can win the brand new Lincoln Power MIG welder in the Rat Rod Build Competition. Throttle down, boys, and get ready for some hair-bending automotive entertainment. Let's go. Hi, I'm Gary Thayer with Rockabilly Rebel Entertainment. Welcome to another episode of Rat Rod TV. Today, we're going to take you to an undisclosed location somewhere in Southern California. Hey, come here, come here. Come on in here. I got something to tell you. You can't believe what's in this guy's backyard. We're going to see 40 years of Rat Rod <laughs> I mean, right back here, you just wouldn't believe it. Hold on a second. My buddy here, Buck, he's been collecting for over 40 years. And in this backyard, all you rat rodders, we've got a collection of rust like you wouldn't believe. Parts galore. All your wildest dreams can be made in this guy's backyard. And then from there, we are gonna take you to not one, but two chicken coops full of cars. Everything can be had. It's just a dream come true. Every time I come out here, oh man, it's just like making love for the first time. You guys are late. Let's go. Come on, guys. So, Buck, how long have you been collecting this stuff? Uh, all my life, really, since uh, since I was a kid. And then mostly when I come back from Vietnam, started in the 70s, and uh, I was just trying to... I went around looking at stuff that I knew that was set, and they were in a big... Uh, move to try and get everything cleaned up and crushed up and it's all the stuff that needs to be saved I mean it can make a car and they want to crush it all so it's a sickness and I got it <laughs> bad <laughs> does it create any problems between you and the wife because I've heard a lot of women say if you spend as much money on on them as you do on cars they'd have a better relationship yeah it has my wife I mean I never intended for this to happen, but I was just trying to save it. When they were on a right. big move, uh, Lady Brew Johnson got on that program. They're going to clean up, you know, the United States. Uh, I still like going across, you know, the United States and seeing old machinery sitting up on the bluff. And uh, you know, some people like horses, some people like old machinery, some people like tractors. I'm a gearhead. I like cars. So what do we have here? This is a 1932 two-door that uh, was given to me by my grandmother. It was uh, my uncle's. He raced jalopies too, and uh, it was one slated to build a jalopy, but it got sitting in her yard for years and years, and finally she gave it to me. And uh, I, uh, I went and resurrected it. But somebody had cut the back out of it, but I've got all the pieces now that I can fix it. That's what all this 32 two-door stuff is sitting here. Oh, right for. here. Because. I can put three 32 two-door bodies together. They're all going to have to be chopped. Right. And then there's enough stuff left over with some quarter panels and a Cabriolet cowl that I could build a, uh, like a 32 two-door Phaeton rat rod. I mean, Ford right. never made one, but it's, it's a rat rod. What's with the chop job on this one? Well, the guy that done it really cut it in the wrong place. You don't cut them there when you chop them, and it's not the way I chop them, but that's the way I got it. And it, it can be saved, though. Well, huh. I got another buddy that got a deal one time, and we bought out an old wrecking yard. Oh, really? All these hoods were stacked in there, and I've gotten rid of a lot of them and traded. I got rid of the stainless and whatever. Well, that's what I mean. I just uh, I I like to trade because you don't feel like you get hurt then. Right. And then too, it's like now everybody comes out even. Yeah, usually. it's like nowadays money's getting really tight, man. And but I just have a hard time throwing this stuff away, man. I've had people that just need a corner or a piece or a right. nose, and once you throw it away, it's gone. Yeah. You know, because it's just like I mean, I don't care what it is. Well, you know, that's my problem though too. Yeah. I want to resurrect everything. Yeah. Old. I look at it, and uh, that's what I mean. I, it's a sickness, man. Right. I gotta. We'll be back with our top secret somewhere in California barn find right after this. We'll be back with more Rat Rod TV. Rat Rod Television is brought to you by Lincoln Electric, the welding experts. Chicago Pneumatics, hold the trigger. Ray Bestis, the best in brakes. 
seal the deal with Mr. Gaskin. By Monster Transmission, eat my shift. Cop cams, go faster. By trailershopper.com, buy, sell, and trade. By summitracing.com and by Full Contact Wrench. Grip it, don't strip it. Chicago Pneumatic is the official air tool of Rat Rod TV. Do you want to know why? They're built to work and they're built to last. You can pay more for other tools, but you're not going to get more. Chicago Pneumatic is the Rat Rodder's tool of choice. So fill your hand and feel the power. Check out the full line of Chicago Pneumatic products at cp.com slash rr. cp.com slash rr and pull the trigger on one of these babies. Lock in high performance for life with MLS head gaskets from Mr. Gasket. Engineered for high compression, turbo, supercharged, and nitrous engines. MLS is the multi-layer leak-proof answer guaranteed to seal in performance. Lock it in for life with MLS from Mr. Gasket. New from Ax new from Axel, the GMHEI corrected distributor cap. Eliminate crossed ignition wires and dress up your engine for a clean look. A plug and play fit with ultra high dielectric strength to resist arc through. The GMHEI corrected distributor cap. New from Axel. This segment of Rat Rod TV is brought to you by killbillet.com. I mean, it, I used to buy four doors just to get the parts. I used to buy four doors. The talent parts. Yeah, for the front ends, the front sheet metal, right. the doors, the hinges, and the, the ashes and stuff like that. Once you take all the two-door stuff off of it, then, and I you used, know. I used to get rid of a lot yeah. of four-door stuff. And now I, I look at four doors because they're dwindling. You just right. can't find the stuff. And It used to be nobody wanted them. Right. Oh, right here. What kind of frames we got back here? The twisted up frame you got there. Yeah, it's a Model A that got trashed way back. I pulled that. Well, it had a nice body. The back half was really nice on it. It was real young when it went off the road up on the reservation, and the front was all smashed. But there was a lot of good panels on the back. I used them to build the body, and then uh, and then there's an old rear end that used to be the big thing. Right here. Yeah. And they're just. Uh, Big bolt had a lot of eight inchers there and uh, old Fords, some pickups. It's all the stuff you use, different. Like I say, some guys want the wider ones if they're really slamming the car down on the ground, like the old Ford pickup ones are a lot wider. Uh, you want to find the Mustang II V8 model ones or a, or a Falcon or Comet or, a, you know, a, a Maverick. Right. Because they're narrower and they're 8 inches. As long as you're not drag racing or whatever, you don't need a 9 inch. Uh, 8 inches work fine. And, and then there's a lot of old Ford stuff here. It's hard finding good Ford closed driveline rear ends too anymore, man. I try and keep cans on them so they don't get full of water, but you know, it's just, uh, I never thought that uh, I'd end up with all this stuff. <laughs> And let's see, there's another 401 nail head Buick there. I'm a Buick freak. And then there's a, a baby, a baby Buick there, I think. And uh, a lot of guys don't call them nail heads. They look just like a nail head, but they're the later version. They were a 300. And uh, everybody is kind of, you know, stuck on the old ones. Right. But they look, they look good. And plus, what's nice about them, though, they bolt up to a, a Power Glide 2 speed aluminum case or a 350 or a 400 or even an overdrive that's what's nice about really? that block it look it's it's the same look as a buick that's why i call them a baby buick right but anyway bolt right up though huh yeah so i Morning. try and keep them covered up and look at this thing right here is that a 38 or 39 ford it's a 38 38 it's a, it's a pig like, nose right yeah right. right. and it's like a one-ton ambulance it was a military oh. it was a military ambulance I think my buddy from uh, Rat Rod TV was talking about making this his uh, his company truck. 
It'd make a good company truck. It's got a big With the logo on the side yeah, and look carry up, all the his gear. The boards are on the oh, side. Yeah. Of it, man. <laughs> and then you can bag it. And, and, and I think this thing it just really looks super bad down Put on some the ground. On. Yeah. You know, a lot of guys talk against the rat rod guys. I'm an old guy and I think it's great. Every piece or every car that's saved is another car. Right. And we're power in numbers, man. And I, man, some of these kids, they're great. They come up with some ideas that is just plain awesome, man. I can't believe some of the stuff they do. And they take stuff that nobody else wants to and they turn, turn it into a running they car. They turn it into art, yeah. you yeah. know? So, it, you know, I'm kind of from the the generation where it was unbolt and there was kind of a sacred part that you kept a, a certain way but then there was the thing that you had to go where either you had to be completely stock or either it was a hot rod well i've always been a hot rod guy because i like horsepower right. that's why i say i used to go up on a reservation and i'd uh, work on their cars and i took model a bodies 32 three bodies any bits and pieces instead of getting paid i'm a 36 freak too I've always liked 36s, and uh, this is a delivery that I got from a friend of mine, and that's another one, and I have another one. But this being, I've collected these only to take the best pieces to do one for myself. Right, one for yourself. And then uh, the second one would probably be a pretty nice car, and the third one's going to be a little rough. It's going to be a little rough, but it's a sedan delivery. So right. It's worth the time and effort. Somebody, whoever ends up with it, can uh, try and save it. Right. So. Now that you've seen the secret stash in the backyard, we'll be back with more Rat Rod TV with the secret barn finds. Chicago Pneumatic is the official air tool of Rat Rod TV. Do you want to know why? They're built to work and they're built to last. You can pay more for other tools, but you're not gonna get more. Chicago Pneumatic is the Rad Router's tool of choice. So fill your hand and feel the power. Check out the full line of Chicago Pneumatic products at cp.com slash rr. cp.com slash rr. And pull the trigger on one of these babies. Strip it, don't strip it. There's only one tool you need to remove tough nuts. Rip it. Don't strip it. The revolutionary new tri-point jaw changes the game. Rip it. Don't strip it. Ordinary adjustable wrenches only grab on two points. The new full contact wrench applies pressure to three sides and is guaranteed not to slip or strip. Rip it. Don't strip it. The more pressure, the tighter it grips. Make full contact today at fullcontactwrench.com. Rip it. Don't strip it. This segment of Rat Rod TV is brought to you by KillBillet.com. That's what I mean, man. You know, you need a big, you gotta have more than one or two barns to put all this stuff in to try and keep it and save it. So you're trying to do it. Yeah, you do. front ends of cars and more doors. Well, all these cars here, there's two left, but I started out, I had eight of them here. These are all, they were either convertible or woody cowls. And, hmm. uh, there's a 39 convertible in there. I had a 37 Woody uh, and uh, a couple 37 Cabriolets. There was a 36 Cabriolet in there. Yeah, there's only these two left. And I just, uh, anyway. What do you got over here? Is that well, a that's the last 33, 34 pickup package I've got. I had about eight of them and uh, I had some deuces and this is kind of what's left after everybody picked over the piles and there's a 27 T Roadster cowl there and this is the front part of a 30, 31 Model A and then this is what's left of all the bits and pieces for a 30, well this is a 33 or 34 because 32 has got a removable firewall. It's like you got some classic rims up there too. Well, I still like Steelys. I think the best looking wheel there is is a Steely with a beauty ring and a hubcap, whether you're yeah. in 40 or 47s. It's just, and then the next thing is, is probably Halibrands and then five spoke Americans. I'm not into the new Wazoo wheels and huh. 
What do we have over here? Buick Wildcat? Yeah. I, I bought that for a, for the motor. Like I said, it's got a it's got a 364 in it. But it's one of the one years that they didn't put air conditioning in it. And it doesn't have multi-pulleys. It's pulleys on this motor is hard to find. You got a two-groove pulley, it has a power steering pump and an alternator and a water pump. It's really cool. Real basic. The rest of them were basically Buicks were luxury cars, so they had all of the oh, yeah. rigmarole on them and whatever, but that's a 34 two-door sedan with a frame. It looks humble, but it's all savable. And there again, it's got all the re window regulators, it's got a windshield frame in it. It's got one corner that's a little bad, but a lot of that stuff. Now you just gotta take your time and resurrect it and save it. Do what you gotta do. There's a lot of repo parts out there. What's this, a dog back here? That's a Chrysler. That's a Chrysler. Yeah, I think it's about, I'm not sure. Like I said, I'm not into it, but it's a good rat rod deal. It's, I think it's a 26, but it's got an emblem on the dash. It's got a D on this. Yeah, yeah, well, it's got an emblem over here that says Chrysler. Oh, it does, dash, yeah. Yeah, right on the dash. Right. And uh, it's kind of humble, but it's got the garnish moldings in it, and there it is. It's got a frame, and it's got parallel leaf, so it wouldn't be hard to throw a rear end and front end underneath. Right. Was, and then you got fenders galore out here. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, fenders. Even when they're bad, you use bits and pieces. Yep. And uh, now we're going to take a trip over to the barn, and we're going to show you two secret stashes in Southern California. Here we are at the secret location at one of the barns that I've been telling you about. Come on in, we'll show you around. So wow, what do we have here, Buck? It's just some more bits and pieces, bodies, cars, rollers that I've collected over the years. And uh, some of this stuff belongs to buddies of mine that I let them store here and whatever, try and keep it out of the weather. And, uh, Looks like quite a collection here. Yeah, just projects, stuff that we tried to save from, you know, being scrapped. It's a 36 hump body, and that's original black paint. It's got some rust in it, but there's a frame under it. I mean, it's a good project. I've got, I've got the garnish moldings for it. I've got a, you know, the deck lid, and uh, so it's a, it's a good project car. There's a 34 two-door sedan body right there. I always like them when they got the bu bullet holes. Yeah. It's got some Add bullet, some character. Got some bullet holes in it. It's got remnants of the original light green or gray paint on it. This one here was a 33 body, two doors to the end body. And uh, it's sitting on another 34 frame. But, I mean, stuff like this is, you know, usually a guy gets a body and tears it all down to this point and then starts all over making sure it's good. We'll be back with more of a barn find after these messages. I needed a new trailer for my motorcycle and was about to go out looking for one when I realized I gotta sell my old one. Good thing I found TrailerShopper.com. I can do both at the same time right from home. At TrailerShopper.com I can shop for a livestock trailer if I needed one, a race car, snowmobile, cargo, or even a horse trailer. Trust me, if you're looking to buy or sell any kind of trailer, new or used, you can do it at TrailerShopper.com. And sellers, your first classified ad is free. Even free one ads. TrailerShopper.com. You've got the ride. Now get the edge at SummitRacing.com. Find parts fast with customizable search options. Shop by keyword, brand name, make, model, and more. Plus, find great deals in the Saving Central section. Get parts quick and easy with online checkout and fast shipping. And get the job done right with helpful instruction sheets, part suggestions, and a huge tech, huge tech archive. It's all at SummitRacing.com, your ultimate power tool. Quarter panels, not too much coupe stuff left. A lot of 28, 29 two-door sedan. There's uh, some couple of Vicky bodies in here. Uh, 30, oh, 33, 34 four-door there that somebody cut the whole floor out of. This is a 37 two-door slant. And uh, 
I got all the pieces for that too. I got the deck lid and the doors. A 44 two door, there's a 55 Chevy two door hard top. Uh, there again, some extra fenders, some 53 to 56 Ford pickup fenders. I mean, it's just an array of bits and pieces that. Now, here we go. This here is a 31, I think, Plymouth or Dodge. Belongs to a good friend of mine. He's uh, he's storing it out here. He's he's thinking about resurrecting this. Looks like a fun car. This is a regular old Al Capone car, I thought. Yeah. Kind of neat. Like I said, it's just it's an array of fenders. Just there's stuff stuffed all over. Transmissions. And, uh, hmm. Here's what's left of a '37 Cabriolet. It wouldn't take much. I've got a pair of two door that somebody chopped that went south. It really went south. <laughs> and, uh, I think I think if this thing was to be saved, is that other 39 that was over in the other yard earlier would probably be a good donor for a roof. And then there's a that's a 42 business coupe but somebody put a 41 front clip on it. Hmm. 37, 37, 38 coupe body there. And there again, just fenders. I need to try and get this stuff organized and marked. And here's, a, here's a Mercury Woody fender, 46, 7, 8. There's a pair of them right there, Woody fenders. So everything here is pretty much for sale. I gotta get rid of it. Heck man, I'm 64 years old. I'm not gonna do anything. I, I never intended to end up with this. Like I said before, I got back from Vietnam and I wanted to get back into hot rods and I found out what stuff was going for and they were crushing it all. So I just started collecting and trading and whatever and I never intended to end up with this much stuff. The stuff's worth money, and I mean, if you need bits and pieces, you know, the days of finding a car sitting next to a barn for 50 bucks is gone, let's face it, you know? That's true. You can't, you can't even go to a, to a catalog nowadays and buy anything for 50 bucks. That's true, too. I mean, bits and pieces and the parts, new stuff, it's, that's why you end up having a lot of money in a car, but if, if you know, what style car you're gonna build, there's a lot of stuff you can go to the swamp meets and you can buy really reasonable. I mean, so this is just one of your chicken coops out here? Yeah, this is just one. We wow. got one right next door here. It's got the later cars in it, like the uh, 40s and 50s. There's a few. Again, uh, everything you have here is for sale? Basically, there's a few. Yeah, I'm done. I can't. You know, I have a hard time. Well, Buck, I really want to thank you much for showing us around. Yeah. And so uh, if anybody wants to get a hold of you, they can send a message to Rat Rod TV. Yeah, give them guys a call if, they're, if they've seen anything they're interested in and uh, might want to need some bits and pieces or parts or whatever. I'm just trying to get rid of it. I saved it this long, and I don't want to see it get thrashed or trashed or crushed. All right, thank you again, Buck. And we'll see you, we'll see you guys again on the next episode of Rat Rod TV. This is Gary Thayer with Rockabilly Rebel Entertainment signing off. See you next week now. Rat Rod Television is brought to you by Lincoln Electric, the welding experts. Chicago Pneumatics, pull the trigger. Ray Vestas, the best in brakes. Seal the deal with Mr. Gaskin. By Monster Transmission, eat my shift. Cop cams, go faster. By trailershopper.com. Buy, sell, and trade. By summitracing.com and by Full Contact Wrench. Grip it, don't strip it. 55 Cadillac Eldorado? Yeah. Yeah, that's a real Eldo. So, yeah. They didn't make a good sled for somebody. Yeah. It'd be it was great. 300. There's a Chrysler 300 over here, two door, original red. That is car. I'm not sure what this is. This is a, a Plymouth. But I'm not really hip on Plymouth, but I think it's a it's a 39, 40, or 41, somewhere in there.
strip it. There's only one tool you need to remove tough nuts. Rip it. Don't strip it. The revolutionary new tri-point jaw changes the game. Rip it. Don't strip it. Ordinary adjustable wrenches only grab on two points. The new full contact wrench applies pressure to three sides and is guaranteed not to slip or strip. Rip it. Don't strip it. The more pressure, the tighter it grips. Make full contact today at fullcontactwrench.com. Rip it. Don't strip it.